Hi, everyone. Paul Bertarelli reporting for Kit Planes and AvWeb here at Sun and Fun 2016, where Lance Air has its two versions of the Evolution, the PT6-powered turbine and the Lycoming IE2-powered piston version. That's the one we're really interested in because this represents the first commercial use of an electronic engine. This year at Sun and Fun, I've, I've had the privilege of bringing the first uh, customer IE2 piston-powered Evolution aircraft. Um, of course, we have 76. We've now sold of the turboprops, um, but this is the first customer of the piston, and things are going really well. Um, the IE2 engine is a Lycoming FADIC controlled 540 twin turbo engine. The beauty of the uh, package is it's about $600,000 less than our normal turboprop. Um, but it still has a maximum speed of 240 knots. I, I can get 232 knots on 19 gallons anytime over 17,000. Um, but because the airframe is the exact same airframe as the turboprop, it has all of the same V&E structures, flight characteristics of the turbine, um, but for a lot less money. I've got about 100 hours on this airplane myself through all of the testing and programming. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's, you know, even the turbine has three levers. That has one. You hit the button, it starts, you move the lever. And, uh, um, you know, this technology is certainly well overdue in aviation. Um, I raced the Lycoming engine for a long time. I know how to break them. Um, I can't see how you can break this engine because if, even if you do run it really hot, with the sequential fueling system, it, it controls each cylinder and manages the temperatures even if you go all the way up. So you may lose some power, but it's not going to let the engine detonate. Um, the rest of the flight envelope, very smooth, like all the, you know, I use all the electronic uh, ignition and fuel injection and racing, which is phenomenal. Um, but I'm seeing the exact same thing here. It starts cold, cold hot, uh, runs smooth. Um, it can't detonate. Um, 2,000 hour TBO, you get a two year warranty, you can extend it out to five years, no problem. Um, this particular engine, this is where the first aircraft you can buy it with, you know, which is nice to be first to the market. But they've been actually flying this in Northrop's uh, UAVs for a long period of time under very difficult conditions. They zoom them up to high altitude and they want them to loiter. They need a very simple um, system they can manage remotely, obviously, for UAV. They've got, I think, six aircraft flying and they've got lots and lots of hours on them. Uh, Technam is finishing their certification on a twin, which is a fantastic air, same exact engine. Now we sell a, it's an experimental version on the data plate, but it's the exact same engine as the certified version of the IE2 from Lycoming. And so for, uh, you know, the Lance Air is in the kit business, we've been selling kits for a long time. Um, but most of the customers, once they decide that they want one of these aircraft, they want to fly them as soon as possible. And so what we include in the price is the initial two weeks and basically all the very critical components. So the builder would, the owner would come to Redmond for two weeks. And during that time, we're gonna do all of the very critical steps of the spars, the insulation, the gear. So at two weeks when the plane leaves, it's on the gear, all the composite structures have been uh, completed. And so now the owner can either take the kit home and finish it, install the systems himself, or what most customers do is they use one of our uh, approved builder assist centers where over about seven month period of time, they visit that center um, doing as much or really as little as they want to be involved in it, um, still always complying with the 51% the rule. And that's basically done all the way through test flying. We also pay for the final inspection as a manufacturer, even if it's built. And we also pay for the first flight and initial training for the customer. Um, most customers continue on with that company EPS well into their, their, their fly off. Okay, so if you want more information about the Evolution Turbine or uh, IE2 Piston Aircraft, it's evolutionaircraft.com. Um, what I want to mention, we produce one aircraft about every three weeks, and we're running into about August right now, so now's the time.